I'm Martha, the editor of Infectious Diseases Hub, and we're here at the third day of ASM Micro, but I'm going to give you my top three talks from today. So first up we have Sean Owen on the identification of a novel family of phage-resistant proteins in gram-negative bacteria. So she talked about how transcriptomics had really helped her hone in on these proteins, especially one, BSTA, and how further studies had led to an understanding that this novel protective protein could be an abortive infective system potentially protecting bacteria from phages on a population rather than an individual level. So next up we had Alexander McAdam on the best culture practices for paediatric bloodstream infections. So he talked about whether paediatric blood culture bottles are required, stating that limited data has shown that they have increased sensitivity and that perhaps they should be considered, especially in labs where there are a high number of children coming through the labs. He also asked whether we should be doing routine anaerobic blood cultures, recommending that it should be considered, especially in cases where risk factors are present. Although previous studies in older children have had quite poorly designed studies, so perhaps this needs further investigation. Finally, we had a fascinating talk from Ilaria Kapua, who told her story on how fake news has really impacted her life. So specifically, she talked about investigation, that was based on her phone being tapped and serious charges being misconstrued from this evidence, including uh, selling, smuggling and creating viruses. She was cleared of these charges, but she cautioned that fake news is one of the most serious threats that we face in the modern world, and that everyone should take action to defend science as a public good. So that's it from today and from ASM Microbe. Um, visit us and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.